Welcome to the fifth and final edition of Gentleman Boozer Tastings, California Distilleries. I'm George Maurer, the Gentleman Boozer. And if you've been tuning in for this, uh, for this group of tastings, uh, you'll know that I do not drink vodka. I just don't do it. Uh, when I open a bottle of vodka, it reminds me of the rubbing alcohol, generally, that you get in the supermarket. I'm not real big on that. And so one of the things that we learned, uh, California Distilleries is owned by the Tiller family. And they have 300 years of distilling experience, some legal, some illegal. And one of the things that they are very careful to do is to remove the bad parts of the distillation run. You have the heads, the part that will kill you, if you believe some of the stories make you go blind, run a tractor. They have the hearts, which is the good part. Then you have the tails. And the tails is what gives alcohol that kind of mm, nasty smell a little bit sometimes. That hospital smell, as they sometimes call it. And it's the, the acetones, things like that. And it's what gives you a hangover. Uh, those are the things that help give you hangovers the next day. Of course, not drinking a lot of water will do the same thing. Uh, now, I just don't drink vodka. I'm a bourbon drinker. I'm a whiskey drinker. I'm a beer drinker. I'm a home brewer, so I drink my own beer. And I've been so impressed with California Distillery's other spirits, I decided that I wanted to give their vodka a chance. And I left it sealed so that you could see that I haven't tried it yet. And I'm going to try to not injure myself here. But I am going to try this vodka for the very first time with you. Just so that you know that this is a genuine tasting, first time tasting. So now when you smell vodka normally, it's like, uh, you know, just uh, that hospital smell. What do we get here? And there's a bit of a sweetness to it that's kind of hard to place. And again, I'm no official taster. If I can get two cents out of something, two smells... Uh, that's good. That's good for me. You know, you have these super tasters and super smellers. They can pull 13 different distinct aromas out of things. If you're looking for that kind of tasting, you're in the wrong place. Uh, so, mm, just a sweet smell and it's hard to place. It's hard to place. Let's give it a shot. Well, like all vodkas, uh, well, vodkas tend to have a, a very smooth and neutral taste to it. This absolutely has a very neutral taste to it. There's definitely some alcohol in there. It's 80 proof, uh, like normal, uh, as all, you know, it's normal vodka. But it's just a nice, clean taste. And... Uh, you know, it, it's just a nice, clean, neutral taste. And I have heard people talk about vodka. When, when they say vodka, it's about mouthfeel. Because a lot of times there's just not a lot of... A good vodka doesn't have a lot of taste to it. And this kind of has that nice neutral flavor to it. It just... it, it just There's nothing that kind of jumps out at you. I just don't taste any one thing in particular. It's just smooth, neutral, clean. And it kind of has a nice smooth mouthfeel to it. If I could... If that makes any sense. It's... 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 Again, I'm no expert here, so I'm sure I'm butchering this to, to no end. If I were to sip the alcohols that I've tasted before in my life, you get that punch in the face sort of at the end. There's none of that here. Again, the Tiller family takes a great deal of time and effort to make sure that they cut off the run 
before the tails begins. And it means they lose a little bit, but their quality is so much better. And if you have a craft distiller in your neighborhood, and chances are you do, I highly recommend giving them a shot. Uh, go take go to one of their tastings, and it will open your eyes. It craft spirits is a whole new world, and of course, like all things, uh, in moderation. Okay, uh, alcohol in moderation, one to two drinks per day. If you're a female, um, one drink per day. If you're a male, one to two drinks per day. It's good for your heart. It's good for your cholesterol. Helps you keep cholesterol down. But of course, it's really easy to abuse. And you know, and if you have a family history of alcoholism, I would probably try to find other ways to keep my cholesterol down and to keep my my heart strong. Uh, but moderate alcohol use is part of a healthy lifestyle if done in moderation. And I highly recommend it. And with a quality spirit like this, it's just enjoyable. If you enjoyed this particular episode of Gentleman Boozer Tastings, I'm sure you know the drill. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to keep an eye out. I've got episode two, season one, episode two, Dafa Wines coming up very shortly and they are part of Southern California's wine country in the Temecula Valley, beautiful Temecula Valley. I'm lucky enough to live here and they are one of the few wineries who make grappa and grappa is a distilled spirit made from the leftovers of the wine making process and uh, I'm very excited to share that with you. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you soon.